Good morning. We are Dean Avery, Tree Services of Gainesville, North Central Florida. And today we're going to be taking down this tree, which is very dead and leaning the wrong way. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. And as you can see, we, we, we may have gone to Arbury School, but we didn't go to art school. But uh, this is the tree uh, leaning the wrong way. The idea is the first thing to secure and stabilize the tree by this line here. This line will go to another tree out in the forest and because we can't have a vehicle in the jungle we're rerouting it uh, to here. Now because there's weight on the wrong side we're going to have to remove that weight before we attempt anything. Some of the weight will be removed by placing it on the, the right side of the tree. This is a rope going to, going to here. We're going to cut there so that this hopefully will fall and end up pulling the tree in the direction which we wanted to go, which is that away. All right, this is the equipment we're going to use. First, uh, fancy pants, uh, chainsaw proof climbing pants, super flexible. A uh, fancy helmet with ear protection. Climbing harness, climbing ropes. This is a 6,000 pound breaking strain, 120 feet. Lightweight climbing saw, steel 192. Heavyweight chainsaw for cutting the main trunk, a steel 441 Magnum. Heavy duty rigging rope, 15,000 pounds, 150 feet. Another heavyweight rigging rope, 12,000 pounds, 150 feet. Heavyweight rigging pulley, two tons. This is called a porter wrap, uh, a lowering device. A 14 foot extendable pole for use in the tree, just a hook on the end for grabbing things. Now one uh, footnote, which they don't tell you in Arbor School, uh, is that trees have a soul, otherwise why are they growing? If you see life, it means that there's a spiritual spark within that form. If you consider <clears throat> a tree is born like us, it grows, it, it reproduces, it ages, and it dies. According to Eastern philosophy, at least, this is because within that life form, just like within my body, there is a spiritual spark which endures the transformations of the body. So we consider this, this tree is dead. That means the soul, the life spark, has left the body of the tree to go somewhere else, as in reincarnation. So it's just uh, something that I bear in mind is that <clears throat> although the body of a tree may cover that soul in terms of emotions and degree of consciousness more than I may be covered or you, still uh, I consider that this tree has pleasure and pain. It has um, the urge to exist and to strive for favorable conditions. It's a living being, all creatures great and small, like it says in the Bible. So we consider this in, uh, in tree work. Manager of the company, uh, owner of the company, and the muscle, Jesse and Nanda, otherwise known as Donovan. <laughs>
Okay, we're about uh, two hours but about half a pint of adrenaline later uh, and everything went according to plan we got two branches which were on the wrong side now suspended from the, the side we wanted to fall uh, we have our, our bull rope installed at the top which will be pulled by the vehicle and uh, plan is to cut it one time at the base and have it fall into the jungle Hare Krishna Tree successfully down. Took about four hours. <clears throat> Very little damage. <clears throat> <clears throat>